皆さんこんにちは。Hello everybody, my name is Takahide Kamisaka and today、uh, my guest is Mimi Lapu who accepted to take a Japanese lesson with me. So, how do you feel? I feel amazing. Really? Confident? Yes, yes very All right, confident. <laughs> the point is, just like Professor Kawashima Sensei, I strongly believe that playing games is an excellent way to memorize anything and therefore to learn languages. So, we'll be playing games. And in the first game, I'll be presenting words that came from English because there are many of them. So, for example, the word anime came from the word animation. This is also a very good opportunity for you guys to learn. So let's play along. Do you know any other words?、Uh, well, blueberry. Yeah, blueberry. Yes, very good. exactly. Yes. So the first one is pasokon. Do you know what pasokon means? Pasokon.、Uh, cone. Pasokon. No. <laughs> good try, though. Pasokon.、Well, I'll give you a hint. It's actually two words. They put them together, they take only the, the two first syllables and then put them together. So.、Okay. The actual word is personal computer. Oh my god. Personal computer, personal computer. <laughs>、oh、my and it、god. becomes pasokon. Okay. It's the same in limokon.、Okay. limokon. Limo, the kon in limokon is not computer, but it's <laughs> remote controller. Oh my god. Limokon. So、uh, the, the remote controller. That's too good. So the second one is jipan. Jipan.、Mm-hmm. Uh, pan means bread. That's correct, but in this case, it doesn't mean bread. Okay. Jipan.、Uh, jipan. Remember,、uh, it's the same with the first、uh, word. It's two words that they you know, shorten and put together. Ah,、uh, I think it would be jinzupansu. That's correct! Jinzupansu! Yeah! <laughs> Because j i p a n You're actually wearing j i p a n Yes, actually. <laughs> the next one is very useful when you're a social influencer like you are. Okay. It's anchi. 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 <laughs> 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 This is a bit confusing because also we don't pronounce it that way in English. It's a little bit different. But if you think French, maybe you'll find the answer. Anchi. She. So it's the beginning of two words. No, not in this case. Not in this case, I'm, I'm lost. Okay. So it's, it comes from the word anti. Anti? Anti something, anti government, anti. Okay.、Yeah. And in this specific case, it comes from anti fans. So,、okay. the haters. That's how you're going to call、uh, them in Japanese. Anti. Anti ga oi. You have many、uh, haters. <laughs> All right, so let's get to the second game. So, the first one was to show that there are actually so many words borrowed from English in the Japanese language. Okay. However, they also use a lot of. Onomatopoeia. So, for example, in English, we also use them to,、uh, for example, when a dog barks, we're gonna say woof.、Okay. In Japanese, they're gonna bark a little differently.、Uh, it's gonna be、uh, wang wang. <laughs> wang wang. Almost every time in Japanese, it's gonna be one syllable repeated twice. They also use onomatopoeia in different contexts. Okay. So, for example, the first one would be zaza. 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 It is an onomatopoeia because it's supposed to sound like. What it actually is. Okay. Zaza. Zaza. Zaza.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Z- like, I'm trying to think about an animal that makes that song or something. That's not an animal, but it's, <laughs> it's something in nature. Zaza. This is a disaster. Okay, I'm gonna help you. So, usually, <laughs> those onomatopoeias are associated with a verb.、Okay. In this case, the verb would be Zaza futter. Ame ga Zaza futter. Okay. Amega zaza futter means that it's raining really heavily.、Okay. Zaza.、Ah. Mm-hmm. Yes. The next one is pretty funny. It's pika pika. Pika pika. Yeah. <laughs> pika pika. Exactly. There's a Pokemon. Yeah. Pikachu. Pika. And it's, it could help you. Yeah. It could help、okay. you. Pika pika. Okay. It could help me. Yes. Pika pika. It can help me、uh, do what? I understand the meaning of what Pika Pika means. <laughs> oh, Pikachu, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Your man. Okay, okay, Pika Pika. Pokemon.、Uh, yes. Pika Pika means to be strong or to be powerful or to be like. <laughs> <laughs> the verb associated with Pika Pika is hikatteru. Pika Pika hikatteru. So、Kattu. it's shining. Shining, okay. Pika Pika, like, wow, you can see the、okay. sparkles. Do you say it's sparkles in English? Yes. The little sparkles, you know, around Pika Pika. All right, so the next one is Waku Waku. Yi, Waku Waku. I know this one. Waku Waku, してる Yeah. Uh, well, uh, it's like kind of like 
uh, when you're happy and joyful. That's and correct. Excited. Absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. So waku waku is really how your heart feels. And there's another one you probably know, which is doki doki. Yes. Doki doki. doki, doki. Exactly. So that's that's yeah. how your your heart beats actually. Doki doki. Boom boom boom. So what about you guys? Did you guess or did you know uh, some of the words we saw today? So for the next <laughs> one, you you don't need to know the meaning of of all the words. Because it's gonna be tongue twisters. So in English, tongue twisters is supposed to be something to play with your mouth, you know, okay. to twisting your tongue. Okay. In Japanese, it's called hayaguchi kotoba. Hayai is to be fast, kuchi is the mouth. Hayai, kuchi. Kotoba is like the words or expressions. So hayaguchi kotoba is really expressions you need to say fast. Okay. The first one is a bit short, but it's, okay. it, it is a tongue twister. Okay. So, basu gasu bakuhatsu. Basukasu. Ah! Wait, can you say it again? Okay, I'll give you the meaning. It's going to help you probably. So, basugasu. So, basu is the bus. Okay. So, that's also from uh, English. Yeah. Gasu is also from English. It's gas. Basugasu. Basugasu. Bakuhatsu. Bakuhatsu? Bakuhatsu is the, an explosion. So, an explosion from the gas of a bus. <laughs> <laughs> you guys try as well, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Basugasu. Katsu basu. No! Okay, okay, okay. Slowly, slowly. Basu gasu bakuhatsu. Basu gasu bakuhatsu. Yeah, perfect. When you say it fast, you don't need to say bakuhatsu. It's like bakhatsu. 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 Yeah. Bakhatsu. Bakhatsu. Basu gasu bakhatsu. Basu gasu bakhatsu. Yeah! Atatakai kata tata kiki. Atatakai tata kiki. Okay. Let's, let's decompose that. So, atatakai means to be warm. Okay. Atatakai. So atatakai taiyo, the, the warm sun. Okay. Kata are the shoulders. Okay. Tatakiki. So tataki is to, uh, to slap. Tataki, okay. Tataku. Tataku. And uh, ki is a machine, kikai. Okay. So it's a warm massaging machine for the shoulders. Okay, okay, okay. So atatakai kata tatakiki. Yeah, no, this one is pretty difficult. You guys, you guys should try also. Atatakai kata tatakiki. <laughs> Atatakai, okay, we're good. Yeah, you've got that, you've got that. <laughs> okay, ata, okay, wait, say it one more time, actually. Atatakai kata tatakiki. Atatakai ta... <laughs> you want to try to read it? Yes, actually. Sorry, I'm a bit stubborn. <laughs> atatakai kata tatakiki. Okay. Yes, yeah. Oh, atatakai kata tatakiki. Okay, the next one is, is actually a combo because it's a mix between a tongue twister and an onomatopoeia. Kaeru pyoko pyoko, mi pyoko pyoko, awasete pyoko pyoko, mu pyoko pyoko. You're probably gonna have to read that one. Kairu pyoko pyoko, mi pyoko pyoko, awasete pyoko pyoko, mu pyoko pyoko. Kairu is the frog. Is the frog, okay. And, and pyoko pyoko is the sound it makes. Okay. Like oh, when it's jumping, pyoko pyoko. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. Kairu pyoko pyoko, mi pyoko pyoko, awasete pyoko pyoko, mu pyoko pyoko. That's nice, yeah, yeah. This one is actually not so complicated, but it's just like, you know. It, it... Kairu pyoko pyoko. Oh my god, that's difficult. Kairu pyoko pyoko. Kairu pyoko pyoko. Yeah, it's the pyoko pyoko. When you repeat it many pyoko times, pyoko. it becomes, yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for coming to my class. Oh, yeah. No, you did very you. well. Thank you so much for inviting me. So, uh, you, you're also pretty connected on social media. Maybe yes. Maybe on TikTok, Instagram. Yes. That's would it. You like to share, <laughs> would you like to share anything like about your future projects or...? Uh, future projects, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, right now, I'm just focused on my TikTok mm -hmm. and uh, focused on Instagram. What do you do on TikTok? Because I, I know that you're also sometimes a teacher like me. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I stole your content. Yeah. No, 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 you were there first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so on TikTok, I basically just make a character, Mrs. Lapu, mm -hmm. uh, which teaches French and Japanese. Uh, okay. Just to clear up, as you can see in this YouTube video, I'm a beginner in Japanese. So I'm currently learning and I'm teaching whatever I'm learning on TikTok just for fun to practice. That's amazing and I think it's a very, very powerful and efficient way to learn. So guys, yes. also, if you want to create a YouTube channel to show what you learned, that's awesome. And I think you, you're doing very well and I hope you're enjoying learning Japanese. Of course! I hope you guys had as much fun as we did. If you enjoyed this video, please let us know with a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and share it to other Japanese lovers or people who are learning Japanese. And we'll see you soon for more videos. Bye-bye!